everybody, welcome to The Law Talk Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be about homeschooling math when you're on the go. Now, this homeschool year was the year of field trips for us. And if you're like, what is that? We choose one thing every homeschool year to make a priority. In the past, we've chose things like reading aloud, nature study, games. But this year, the thing we chose was field trips because what we couldn't go and do in the previous year because the world was shut down. And so we wanted to go and do and see all the things that we could go and do and see this year. And in doing that, it means that we haven't been at home to homeschool the way that we normally do as often. And so I don't know about you, but for me as a homeschool mom, the one thing that kind of like nags in the back of my mind or makes me feel the most successful is math. Math is always that one thing. It's the one thing that nags in the back of my head if we haven't done it. It's the one thing that if we've checked it off, I feel like we've had a successful day. I can literally feel like nothing else has been done and it's no big deal as long as we have checked the math box for the day. And we love homeschooling with living books and manipulatives and games. But when you're on the go, that's not always the easiest thing. You can't pack all of it. It becomes cumbersome and it's just too much and too difficult. And so that's where for us, this homeschool year specifically, teaching textbooks has come in very handy because all you need to be able to complete a teaching textbooks lesson is a device. And I'm talking phone, tablet, iPad, laptop, Chromebook, all of those work with teaching textbooks. Now, Emily also likes to have a stylus, but that's a perk and not a necessity. It's just something she specifically likes because it makes her feel like she's using a pencil. But you don't even need a Wi-Fi connection, you guys. You can download up to six lessons ahead of time it's kind of an automatic thing. And then you can complete all of the lessons without Wi-Fi. So you can be camping, you can be in the mountains, you can have no service whatsoever and still check that math box each and every day. And then when you get back to Wi-Fi, let's say you get home, you get to your hotel room, wherever it might be, all of the progress that your child has made is automatically uploaded and then they download the next six lessons. It makes it super simple for anywhere that you wanna go. Another thing that makes it super useful in the car is that it has a built-in scratch pad. So there is a button that the kids can press on the screen and the scratch pad comes up and then they can use their stylus if they're like Emily or their finger and they can do any kind of math that's beyond the mental math right there on the scratch pad. So you don't even have to have pen and paper accessible to them when they're trying to complete these math lessons because teaching textbooks has literally thought of everything and they've put it all in their 4.0 version. The thing that I personally like the best about using teaching textbooks when we're doing math on the go is that Emily can do it 99.9% .9 independently. She rarely ever needs me, which is really, really great because if we're trying to do it in the car while we're traveling, I'm either driving or helping Kevin navigate while he's driving. And it's very difficult to be in the front trying to navigate or drive and also trying to help her complete her math in the back. And so with teaching textbooks, she can watch the videos. She can click on the hints. There's so many things that they've thought of that makes it an independent lesson for her so that she doesn't need my help help. And then I still also get emails that tell me her progress. So I can either log in to my teacher portal and see absolutely everything. Or I just get an email that teaching textbook sends me and tells me what lessons she's completed, what her score is on those lessons and how much time is remaining on our um, course length. Because when you buy teaching textbooks, you get a year for that level. And that is another thing that's phenomenal. If you're going to be going places this summer or you know, spring break or whatever, you can even just use teaching textbooks as a supplement if maybe you're already using something else because it's so affordable. It's between 40 and $60. It's ridiculously affordable. So it's not like you're paying a ton of money out of pocket for it. And that's for the entire year of that specific level, which they have placement tests. So you can do the placement test to see exactly where your child needs to be 
or you can even just use the link that I'm going to put down in the description box for you and sign up for a free trial, which gives you 15 free lessons to try and see if it's going to be a good fit for your kid. Now, teaching textbooks really has been the thing that has made our homeschool the most successful for being on the go this homeschool year, because I can just grab her tablet and know that we can do math anywhere, anytime, and not have to stress over it. But I would love it if you would tell me in the comments down below what the one thing is that has made your homeschool a success this year. And also if you are going to be on the go anywhere in the near future, tell me where you're going and what you're planning to do there because, well, we need to add more field trips to our homeschool year.